Hello everyone, let's learn Malay by just watching. Today we are going to chapter 14. I'm going to explain about superlative. Chapter 14 or Bab 14. Adjective superlative. Superlative adjective can be formed in three ways. One, by placing the word yang before and sekali after the adjective. For example, yang tebal sekali. The thickest. Yang cantik sekali. The most beautiful. Yang baik sekali. The best. Number two, by adding the phrase yang paling before the adjective. Yang paling is the most. Yang paling kuat. The strongest. Yang paling enak or yang paling sedap. The most delicious or the tastiest. Yang paling tinggi. The highest. Number three, by affixing ter to the adjective. We put ter before the adjective. Ter baharu or ter baru, the latest, the newest. Ter mahal, the most expensive. Ter besar, the largest. Ter canggih, the most sophisticated. Only certain adjectives can take the prefix ter to form superlative. Only through the extensive reading can you tell which adjective can take on this prefix. Copula. In lesson 1, you were told that the English copula M, is, are, was and were are not normally rendered in Bahasa Melayu. But when you are going to expound or explain something, then it is rendered by the word ialah or adalah. But even if you don't put these two, it doesn't change the meaning. It's not essential. Examples. Saya ialah pelajar yang sangat suka belajar bahasa. I am a student who is very keen in learning language. Gunung Kinabalu adalah gunung yang paling tinggi sekali di Malaysia. Gunung Kinabalu or Kinabalu Mountain is the highest mountain in Malaysia. What if you remove ialah and adalah? Saya pelajar yang sangat suka belajar bahasa. No problem. Doesn't change the meaning. The meaning is still same. Gunung Kinabalu, gunung yang paling tinggi sekali di Malaysia. Same meaning. Malaysia dan Indonesia adalah dua buah negara yang mendapat banyak hujan. Malaysia and Indonesia are two countries which get plenty of rain. Francis Light ialah orang Inggeris yang pertama mendarat di Pulau Pinang. Francis Light was the first Englishman. To land in Penang. Ialah and adalah. What's the difference? Ialah only be used when the word after it is a noun or noun phrase and pronoun. So after ialah, usually noun and pronoun. For example, Kakak saya ialah orang yang baik. My sister is a good person. Orang is a noun. So, ialah. Basically. Menara ini ialah bangunan yang tertinggi di Asia. This tower is the highest building in Asia. Precede the name phrase. Pemain kegemaran saya dalam pasukan ini ialah Ashraf. My favorite player in this team is Ashraf. Ashraf is a name. Adalah need if the phrase that precede the copula in, the, in your sentence is adjective phrase and preposition phrase. For example, Ang pau ini, this envelope, money envelope, adalah daripada is from Auntie Fiona. So, daripada is preposition. 
Sekarang anak saya adalah tinggi macam ayahnya. Now my son is the same tall like his father. Tinggi is adjective tall. So use adalah. Cendera hati ini sebenarnya adalah untuk kamu. This gift actually was for you. So basically ialah add noun or noun phrase adalah before the adjective or preposition. Ialah also we use when in the sentence is a definition or introduction of something. While adalah usually in the sentence we use for to explain something. Ialah from the word ear means it. Lah is the emphasis. Adalah means possessive, other, have something. So usually we use adalah to explain or to, dis to describe something in the sentence. Examples in sentence. Menara Kuala Lumpur merupakan menara yang tercanggih di Malaysia. KL Tower is the most sophisticated tower in Malaysia. Koridor Raya Multimedia menggunakan teknologi maklumat yang terbaharu. The Multimedia Super Corridor MSC uses the latest information technology. Jambatan Pulau Pinang adalah jambatan yang paling panjang sekali di Asia. The Penang Bridge is the longest bridge in Asia. So this sentence is description about Pulau Pinang Bridge. So the description is the tallest, the longest bridge in Asia. Next, itukah kamus yang paling baik? Is that the best dictionary? Or itukah kamus yang paling baik? Is that the best dictionary? Bandar yang paling sibuk di dunia adalah Tokyo. The busiest city in the world is Tokyo. Basikal jenis inilah yang paling murah. Basikal of this brand are the cheapest. Ahmad ialah pelajar yang terbaik di sekolah kami. Ahmad is the best student in our school. Bangunan yang tertinggi di Kuala Lumpur adalah Menara Berkembar Petronas. The tallest building in Kuala Lumpur is the Petronas Twin Tower. Sekolah yang terdekat dengan rumahnya adalah Sekolah Bistari Damansara. The nearest school to his house is the Damansara Smart School. Kamera video yang paling mahal bukanlah semestinya yang paling baik. The most expensive video camera is not necessarily the best. Vocabularies, nouns, bandaraya, city, menara, tower or minaret, ibu kota, capital. Kenderaan, transport or vehicle. Manusia, people or human. Masa, time. Hadiah, price or present. Permukaan, surface. Muka, face. Rantau, region. Seni bina, architecture. Seni, art. Bina, construct. Adjective, enak, delicious. Or usually we say, sedap. We use sedap more than enak. Sibuk, busy. Gembira, happy. Istimewa, special or re remarkable. 
Makmur, prosperous. Indah, splendid, magnificent. Other words, mungkin, maybe, or possibly. Semestinya, necessarily. Sentiasa, always, or selalu. Sedikit, a few, a little. Dipenuhi, to be congested. Dengan, with. Okay, this short paragraph. Ibu kota Malaysia means Malaysian capital. Kuala Lumpur adalah ibu kota Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur is the Malaysian capital. Dan juga bandaraya yang terbesar di Malaysia. And also the biggest city in Malaysia. Bandaraya ini jauh lebih besar dari Pulau Pinang atau Johor Bahru. This city is far bigger than Penang or Johor Bahru. Sekarang di Kuala Lumpur, kita boleh melihat banyak bangunan yang tinggi-tinggi. Now, in Kuala Lumpur, we can see many tall buildings. Bangunan yang paling tinggi sekarang ialah Menara Berkembar Petronas. The tallest building now is the Petronas Twin Tower. Bangunan yang mempunyai 88 tingkat ini adalah bangunan yang paling tinggi di dunia. The building that has 88 stories is the tallest building in the world. Dalam sedikit masa lagi, in a short time, mungkin ada bangunan yang lebih tinggi. Maybe or possibly, there is the more taller building than this building daripada bangunan ini. Di antara bangunan-bangunan yang terbaru, among the latest buildings are adalah Menara Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur Tower. Bangunan yang tertua dan istimewa seni binanya ialah bangunan Sultan Abdul Samad. The oldest building and special its architecture is Sultan Abdul Samad Building. Ini adalah bangunan kerajaan. This is a government building. Dan di menara bangunan ini and in the minaret of this building terletak located Sebuah jam besar, a big clock, dengan empat permukaannya, with four surface. Bangunan Parlimen adalah juga sebuah bangunan terindah di ibu kota. Parlimen Building is also a building that is the most splendid in the capital. Ia terletak di suatu kawasan lapang. It located in one Big area or one free area yang cantik that is beautiful di Taman Bunga in a garden. Bandaraya Kuala Lumpur adalah pusat pentadbiran Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur City is the Malaysia Administration Center yang merupakan which is pusat perdagangan commerce center antarabangsa international di mana ekonominya where its economy berkembang develop dengan begitu pesat sekali sekali fastly develop fastly pesat means fast so this is sultan abdul samad building next to merdeka square this is merdeka square and this is sultan abdul samad building and this is Parliament Building, Parliament Malaysia, Malaysia Parliament. Exercise, latihan. Nombor satu, KLIA is the largest airport in Malaysia. Lapangan terbang antarabangsa Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur International Airport adalah lapangan terbang yang terbesar di Malaysia. 
is the biggest airport in Malaysia. Number 2, Alto Bolden is the fastest athlete in the world. Alto Bolden ialah atlet yang terpantas di dunia. Number 3, Computer game is the most popular game nowadays. Permainan komputer ialah permainan yang paling popular or yang paling disukai ramai masa kini. Disukai ramai means many people like it. Ramai means many for people. Suka, disukai, like. So just use popular. Permainan komputer ialah permainan yang paling popular masa kini, nowadays. Nombor empat. The Great Wall of China is the longest wall in the world. Tembok besar China adalah tembok yang terpanjang di dunia. Wall, tembok. Nombor lima. AIDS is the most dangerous disease. Penyakit AIDS, penyakit mis disease. Penyakit AIDS adalah penyakit yang paling bahaya. Nombor enam. The Australian team is the strongest team in the 16 Commonwealth Games. Pasukan Australia adalah pasukan yang paling hebat dalam sukan Commonwealth ke-16. 16 ke-16. 7. Local fruit is the cheapest fruit in the market. Buah-buahan tempatan adalah buah-buahan yang paling murah di pasar. Nombor 8. The hard disk is the most sensitive part in the computer. Chakra keras adalah bahagian yang paling sensitif dalam komputer. 9. The commuter is the most convenient means of transport. Komuter adalah pengangkutan yang paling mudah. Number 10. Perlis is the smallest state in Malaysia. Perlis adalah negeri yang paling kecil sekali di Malaysia. This is Perlis, located here. The smallest state, while the biggest state is Pahang, in Peninsula Malaysia. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.